What's up gamers? How the heck are you? We are so close. So close. So close to the full release of the game and I can't wait. But while we're waiting, I'm going to go over some things that the devs have put into the game that I just find kind of useless and I don't see the need for them, but they're there anyway. You know, some, some equipment, some tools, some things that you're given the ability to craft, but don't waste your time because I don't, I don't know. Now look guys, this is going to be strictly my opinion. I, I, that's it. It's just my opinion. I'm, I've done pretty well in this game without using these things and I just don't see the point in making them. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, very first item on this list is gonna be the lure trap. Now look, the only reason I'm bringing this up because it, it actually is super simple to make this. I think it's only like, I think it's like two or three uh, flower petals, which you can just get from them fallen flower petals over there. And then two sprig. It's super simple to make, but it does cost uh, raw science. So basically what I'm saying is, you don't need to get this. I just went over and purchased this before making this video because I've never once felt I needed this item. So basically all it does is you lay this trap down and it lures insects in the area, which there aren't any in this area, but it will lure them to this spot. I guess maybe you could set it up for an ambush, but I, I've never needed this. And I guess all I'm saying is don't think when you see this pop up on the raw science menu, don't think you just need it. You know, I don't think you, you need it because you don't. It'll go away after a while, um, but if it doesn't get, I don't even know, can it get destroyed? Yeah, okay, so if it doesn't get destroyed, <laughs> that's literally how, you know, if it doesn't get destroyed, then um, it'll go away in a little bit, it'll just disappear. I don't know that people use it. I don't think I've ever seen it in anybody's gameplay unless they were just testing it out, seeing, uh, but, you know, hey, maybe when the new update drops or we get the new game that something will be different, you know, there'll be, a, maybe there'll be a reason for this, or maybe it'll be a little more useful anyway moving on and i might catch a little flack for this i don't really know is the explosive burr trap to be honest with you it is there are flaws that come along with this that make this not worth it to me this is not this is a not a worth it item for one you have to craft it like or you have to craft it like a building you have to place down your blueprint and then you have to craft it okay nothing inherently wrong with that i guess but the truth is I know you're supposed to set it up for like base raids or you set it up for your Mixar encounters, but the truth is setting this anywhere up near any of you, any of your buildings or the walls that you place down, they will get instantly destroyed the moment this thing goes off. Okay. And you have to have a clear shot on it. If you're going to shoot it from a distance, or if you're going to, which I've heard this suggestion, throw your Coltana because you have to hit it with a spicy weapon in order to activate it. Who was going to throw their spicy Coltana? in the midst of a fight just to activate a bomb and you have to hit it not something around it so you got a bunch of ants around it or something like that you have to somehow try to hit this while they're storming you before anything else so then you don't want to waste a spicy arrow because you may not have a ton of spicy arrows on you so spicy arrows are what they plan for you to actually use in order to make the shot great big explosion nice i just feel like carry bombs Aren't you just carrying regular uh, handheld rat bombs? Easy. They do a decent amount of damage and they, they're they on you, on your person. You can stack them and you're good to go. So I feel like that's a better option. These would be better if you could lay them around your, your base. And even, if, even if they destroyed your base, that's fine. That's fine. I can let that go. So you laid them off in like around the big, give them a good berth away from your base and you laid them out as traps because they're called a explosive burr trap. Why can't they just be set off by bumping into them? Like a normal, like a landmine would be, or like even like the, because these kind of look like the, the floating mines that you see, uh, like submarines and stuff like that. Those just get tapped into, they blow up. Why can't the same thing happen here? They don't. All right. That would be kind of cool because that way you could set up a perimeter of these and it could cause a nice good explosion that would benefit. And then you just remake them after the fight's over. But that's not how it works. And well, we're stuck with this. So I don't think they're that useful. I think there's just other things you can use that don't waste your time making a bunch of these because I feel like you're just going to be disappointed. All right. The next thing I'm going to talk about, and I've made a video on this in the past, are the turrets. So this is obviously the pebble turret. <sighs> turrets. So not much has changed since the unveiling of the wonderful turrets. Look, 
I need to be very clear about this. And I said this in the, the, the uh, previous video where I did a lot of tests on these turrets, showed how viable they really are. They're not. The fire rate's still pretty slow. It's not great. It had potential. The damage just isn't there worthy enough of it. And if you're, like I've said before, these are possibly viable if, not sure why I did quotations around possibly. These are might be viable if you have more than one person, but I feel like the average player plays by themselves in this game or maybe one other person. But even then, because you have to, I can't aim down and most, most bugs when they, unless you're a flyer, most bugs attack below. They're going to hit the bottom of your base. So right now, unless I put this on the side of the wall, then I'm screwed. I can't shoot that one down. So I have to get out and, and attack them anyway. It's just faster to attack them with a spicy Coltana than it is with this pebble turret. These aren't useful. These aren't, these come with actual, and the thing, the other thing too is these, it's not that they're hard to make, but I mean, if you're way over there on the other side and you're the, the acorns are only in one spot in this freaking game and that's right there. So if you don't have a stockpile of these, you're wasting acorn pieces on this. And acorns used in a lot of creations. So I don't know. I've just still, I don't use it. I've put it there right here to test it. And I, I fired it a couple of times during my testing and I have not used it since. I do think it was a good idea. And I, if they make changes in the the new in the release of the game if they make some changes possibly then shoot that i mean that'll be great i, I would probably would use it if it's here for protection that's what it's here for it was here in case i got bombarded by bees or something like that and i thought maybe i could shoot them up in the air but the truth is when i even i had bees attack bees went lower they went down here and started attacking this and i couldn't shoot them i had to get off and just hit them normally or shoot them with an arrow i feel like just have one teammate have arrows or you have arrows and you're better off shooting them with arrows than you are with that thing. So that's my opinion. Arrows go further, more accurate. This is less accurate and does less damage. It was a cool idea, cool concept, but I just feel like we failed on the delivery. So that's, <laughs> I feel like I have a lot of people who agree with me on that one. But hey, here we go. Moving on. All right. And my final one is going to be Waff Emitter. Look, I've made a video on this as well. When it first came out, tested it out. Tried everything out with it. It's just dumb. <laughs> um, basically, the waff emitter is once you create it, it's made with ladybug parts, tough gunk, clay. Once you create it, you take it, you add spider parts, or you add, sorry, you add bug parts into it, depending on how many you add. And I'll show you um, the severity of the attack that will be brought to you. So basically, it's, it's in a way to enrage bugs to cause an attack by adding multiple pieces you can see that the at the bottom underneath where it says bugs enraged it basically is how many bugs will get sent to you all right so the problem is the overall goal and the way it was explained when i heard about this was you put bug parts in you can use this to possibly farm for bug parts or in my video, I suggested you using this to maybe test out how strong your base is and can it handle raids or maybe some fun activities with friends. Can you guys survive a full round of, you know, spider attacks? There are uses for that. Other than that, it's not really useful and it definitely isn't useful for getting, getting parts because every time I tested this and you can watch the video, every time I tested this, I, I never got back much more than the parts I put in. So if I put in 10 ant parts, I only got around 10 to 12 back. Maybe sometimes it's a little bit more, but it's never worth creating this machine, fighting it out, using resources to fight, because then I have to, you know, heal up, stuff like that if you get damaged. You know, I mean, usually you don't get damaged by ants, but you know what I'm saying. It's just there, there isn't enough reward, and this is very easily destroyed. So, if you have any attacks coming in at this, and especially if it's spiders or I did a bee attack, bees absolutely destroyed this. The moment they destroyed this, the fight is over. And then you lost all your parts, lost all the future parts you could possibly get. So take that into consideration. This isn't really worth creating. I went ahead and just put that forward just so you guys know that it's not worth creating. I don't want you to waste your time creating things that just aren't useful. 
I do that for you so that you know you don't have to. And don't be wrong, the art design on this looks amazing. It's a cool concept. If they would add a little bit better rewards, and like I said, you can use it for fun events with friends if you really want to, but if you're by yourself and you think that this is going to be a way for you to get more bug more or more bug parts and stuff like that, it's not. Don't use it for that. Um, but like I said, if you have a group of friends and there's like, you guys want to do competitions to see who can survive the longest uh, against a horde of just spiders, then hey, go for it. This will definitely call in a bunch of spiders. It'll call in a bunch of fungals. I think they've added ant lions. I, I know they have spiders or I know they have ants. So if you want to test all that out, sure, fine. I still don't think that it's viable. I don't think it's useful to have. I mean, you guys can check out my video. I did a more full length uh, demonstration of how it works, what to do, or the things that come along with it. But other than that, I don't, I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? I don't see it. All right, guys, we are very close. It is literally a few days away, six to be exact, and we will get actually five when you watch this video. We will be getting the full release of grounded and i'm super excited i will be live so if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified the moment i go live here i am on the east coast of the united states so i will be live i believe it's at one i will check the times again but you guys would see the post because i will post that morning that exact time i'm going live and hopefully it'll probably be a little after the actual so i can get the update and make sure that everything's working properly before i have you guys come in because i would hate to have the stream going and then not even be able to get in the game because we all know releases of games things can go wrong so i'm just going to prepare for that so it'll probably be 1 30. but without that guys so i thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys see anything on this list that you use and maybe you found an incredible use for it please please put it in the comments let people know that there may be a use for this that i just didn't do now that's very possible this is a huge open world game well, it's a big open world game. It's not huge, but it is a big open world game. And there's plenty of places and spots that you can use certain things that I just didn't. So, hey, maybe there's a use for some of the stuff in here. I don't think so, but maybe you do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys end up liking me. If you did end up liking the video, please hit that like button below. It really does help with the algorithm. And I look, I will catch you guys. Always, as always, as always, I will gladly catch you in the next one. Peace out.